Let's, um, uh, can we start by asking you about your uh, your dummy against Leicester, which seems to be all over social media over the last couple of days? Yeah, it's pretty much all I've got in the locker, so I'm pretty happy it came off for a change. <laughs> smiling sort of post post moment of skill while still running with the ball that doesn't happen too often. Uh, I'm really enjoying my rugby uh, at the minute. Uh, enjoying training, um, enjoying being challenged by the by the group here. So um, you know, going onto the pitch and being able to express myself, um, and then you know, just it come out. Um, you know, I didn't mean for it to come out like it did, and hopefully, you no, know, no one. I didn't disrespect anybody, but it's just you know my emotion and. Um, you know, love, obviously love playing rugby and play with a smile on my face, you know, it tends to be when I'm playing my best rugby. From my perspective, obviously Bath have done a great job of getting back up to speed uh, in double quick time post lockdown. Some clubs have found that difficult. Um, you know, I have to look at uh, sales and the, the squad that they have with the struggles that they are currently having. So what's, um, what's been key in your mind as to how you've done that? Uh, probably just the group being able to crack on with stuff, um, you know, individual responsibilities and prep um, is being left, you know, to our own devices and I think we've used it pretty well. Um, but then also training as well has been short, has been sharp and just, you know, being able to get to the point of training rather than, you know, fanning around. So for us it's been really good. Um, and I think as well, just we've been playing heaps of games, so getting used to each other's body language when we're playing rugby because it's quite scrappy at the minute and we knew it was going to be. So being able to read, you know, boys' body languages, you know, cutting lines or whatever, um, you know, it's been pretty effective.